Okay, this is just going to be a really quick update um, with the doors. Uh, it's been a while since I've been able to do any work on this. You know, the kids are out of school now, and I just haven't had a lot of time to, to work on this. And I ran into another snag. Um, when when my neighbor first, you know, presented this to me, I saw uh, in the box when I was just going through it, you know, I saw these pages. This is the pattern for the leather. And I just saw this in there. And this is just the fabric for the soft top. But I just assumed that the leather was in here. And I just recently opened this up to take a look at it. And there's no leather. So I told him that uh, this thing is missing all of the leather. So he's in the process now of going online and looking for um, leather to, uh, to put on this thing. And I got to a point on here, I'll talk about this in a minute. I got to a point on here to where I kind of needed the leather because the uh, window crank, you know, that rolls a window up and down, the window crank, that gear goes through here, then the handle attaches here. Well, I need the leather on this before I put that handle on. And, you know, I was trying to get everything fit right and get everything working right, so I kind of wanted to go and just put the leather on it. And I'm missing the leather. So since I have to put new leather on it, I'm not going to use, you know, the kit leather. What I decided to do was wrap the leather around the edge and glue it right here. Because I'm pretty sure that with the kit, and maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the kit just has you kind of glue the leather on, which will give an edge. You can see, you'll see the edge, the seam here. And I don't think that would look as nice as it could. I think if I could wrap the leather around and secure it on the back side, I just think that would look a lot nicer. Well, if I wrap the leather around, that's going to add some thickness here, which will spread that out a little bit. So I need the leather to know how thick the leather is. And I, I told him to get thin leather. You know, I want as thin a leather as I could get. But I need the thickness of that. And then what I'll do is I will shave off on this edge the thickness of that leather so that when I put this on, I won't change the thickness of the door. And that's kind of important for this area right here where the latch comes out. And I also, I added that little strip here to help hold the latch mechanism in. Um, I, I still have to mess with this a little bit, but um, I, again, I'm not too concerned about that. So to wrap the leather around this, one other thing like right here, these pieces here, you know, they fit over top of the hinges like this. But what I'm going to do, you know, they don't really need to be like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those off and just re-bond them in here to fill in that gap. And then once I know the thickness of the leather, again, I'll trim that edge off, however thick the leather is. I'll wrap the leather around here, and then I'll screw this on. I think that'll be the best way to do this. All right. Also, one thing I realized, I know in the last video I put out, the last video I put out, I said that when you lined that hole up, that hole was off quite a bit. Well, I think I was off a little bit. Because what I did was I took some, uh, I don't have them here, yeah, I do. I took some just little drill bits here just to kind of stick into the holes. Like put that one in, like just put a little drill bit in that hole to stick it in. And I was able, doing that, I was able to get a little drill bit into all three holes. So I think if these two screws are kind of angled in a tiny bit, I think I can get them all in. I may have to elongate a hole a little bit. So it is off a tiny bit, but it's not off near as bad as I originally thought it was. So that that part at least got a little bit easier. Okay. Um, now, this area right here. This door, when I fit it into the opening of the car, just scooch that over a little bit. When I fit this in, I had a little bit of a gap on that front edge. So I just took some strip, uh, some styrene pieces, and... Um, I'm looking for what I used, like um, just a, a flat sheet of styrene. I take a flat edge across here and I just shave off a piece and I bond that on to the edge here using the solvent, okay? And, um, and get that bonded on. And then I fill in with the uh, plastic model filler putty, this stuff right here. And what I do 
is just before I put this on, I brush some solvent on it. That kind of softens, it kind of pre-softens the plastic. So when I put the filler on, it, it bites in better and it fills in better. And I let all of that set up overnight. And then I sand all of that smooth and I shave the edge off the back. And, that, and, then, and then I fit it and I keep sanding that until it fits properly. So it had to get thin here, left a little bit thicker here and um, until it fits into the opening properly. And I still need to do the other door. And as far as attaching the doors, what I did, and um, I'm just gonna move the camera here a little bit. As you can see, right uh, there, I cut open, sorry, that's gonna make a loud popping noise in the video probably. Um, see if I can focus on this a little bit better. A little bit better. I cut open that slot so that the hinge can so that the hinge can just fit in there. Okay. So if we take a look at what that looks like with the door open, see that hinge just kind of fits in there like that. And you can see I put a piece of white styrene right here, and I put a little mark there where a screw would go. I'm not going to drill that yet. But what I'm going to do when I'm ready to put the door in, when I'm ready to bond the door in, um, I'm going to fill styrene in back here like I did here. Uh, I'll take the body off. I'll make it thicker back this way with styrene. And then I'll put the body back on. And I'll put the door on in the closed position with epoxy. Um, I'll, I'll grab the strongest epoxy I have. And I'll put epoxy here and here. And then I'll put the door on in the closed position and I'll tape it in position, closed, with a good gap all the way around it. We're fitting as properly as I can get it. And then once the epoxy is all cured, I can then open the door and I'll drill in to the center big hole there to put a little screw in there. So I'll have epoxy and screws and that way when I close it, it'll still fit perfect. If I secure it in with the door open, then it, it's not going to close properly. I hope all this makes sense. So again, the plan is to fill in with plastic styrene here. I will put the door hinges in the closed position like that, in the closed position. I will then put the door in place with epoxy on the hinges, and I'll tape it in a good closed position, and then I'll open it, and then I'll run screws in there to finally secure it. But that will be done probably, um, uh, that will be done probably last step. Okay, that'll probably be about the last thing I do, because I'll have the doors painted done, the body painted, done, and then bond the doors in for good. Right now, that's the plan. Uh, that plan may or may not change. Uh, we'll just kind of have to play it by ear and see how it goes. So not very much project, or yeah, project, not very much progress, but at least I have a better idea of how I'm going to do this. And um, I'm also working on the um, the F-104G Starfighter. I want to get that done soon. The guy I'm building that for, uh, he's out of Germany. He'll, he'll actually be in town um, early next year. So that gives me plenty of time to get it done. But I want to, I want to keep kind of keep focusing on that one so that um, I don't run out of time. I, I definitely want that to be done before he, before he gets here. So I'll be going back and forth between this one and that one, but um, yeah, like I said, with school out and everything, I'm having a hard time finding time to, uh, to get any work done. So, anyways, hopefully something here was helpful for you. And um, I'll get back with you as soon as I have more done and I can show you more. And um, until then, as always, thanks for watching.